Welcome fitness friends. Um, in this live broadcast, we're going to be going over five different low carb, high fat meals. But um, actually, if you're new to my channel, my name is Mike Cola. You know, I've been a fitness trainer, gym owner for over 30 years. I've helped thousands of people lose weight and just get into amazing shape. So in this live video, we're going to talk about low carb eating. We're going to talk about how to eat like a low carb, high fat diet. We're not necessarily counting calories, without like calculating your mac macros, your protein, fats, and carb. It's going to happen automatically if you follow this whole food natural diet that I'm going to explain in detail in this live video. And then if you have any questions, you know, pop them in the in the comment section. They'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll show your, your question to everyone else or I'll answer it. And plus, I'll hang around at the end of this video if you have any questions about low-carb eating or just fitness, health, nutrition type stuff in general. Okay, so let's go over the first slide here. Okay, well, first of all, let's go over some of the benefits of a low-carb diet. See, in my opinion, I think the healthiest diet you can possibly eat is a low-carb, high-fat diet all natural diet and for most people it's by far in my opinion the best way for them to lose weight so let's go over some of the health benefits and some of the benefits in general of low carb eating in this first slide okay the first thing is it's an incredible way to eliminate empty calories just think all your empty calories all your calories that are void of nutrition are pretty much carbohydrates like your sugars, your processed foods, your cookies, your cakes, your breads, your pasta, your rice, there's really no nutrition there. So if you're gonna eliminate calories from your diet, eliminate those empty carbohydrates. So that's one major benefit. Another tremendous benefit of eating low carb is that it keeps insulin levels, the storage hormone, low. And it puts you in a fat burning state. Look at it like this. If you're constantly eating carbohydrates multiple times during the day, the pancreas is always producing insulin and you're never letting your body burn body fat. You're constantly in storage mode. So either you can do fasting, which I'm a big believer in intermittent fasting. You know, actually, if you follow me on YouTube, I got about 100 videos on intermittent fasting. That's another amazing way to keep insulin levels low. But the other way is to eat a low carbohydrate diet. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. If you had, I think we got one viewer here. Thanks for, thanks for checking in. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comment section. I'll answer them as soon as I see them, okay? Now the third benefit, I don't know if it's really a benefit, but it's something that people are concerned with. Some people are concerned that if they're not eating enough carbohydrates, they'll have some health issues. But look at it like this. The body has this has a mechanism to protect itself, and that is called gluconeogenesis. There are no essential carbohydrates. Like, for example, there are essential fats prote and proteins that you have to eat for good health. There's essential amino acids, essential, essential fats that you have to eat carbohydrates. There's no essential carbohydrates you have to eat. And if you get really low on carbohydrates, the body will make them, will make the glucose for you. It's called gluconeogenesis. So the, the liver will make glucose carbohydrates out of fat and out of protein. So don't be concerned about going too low on your carbohydrates. But also, this is not a ketogenic type plan. This is a low carb plan. So that happens to more people who do a ketogenic type diet where they're eating extremely low carbohydrates. My general plan, is if you're 150 pounds or less, I like to see people eat around 50 grams of carbohydrates, around 200 calories in carbs. And if you're like a bigger guy, guy or gal, around 200 pounds or so, maybe go upwards of 100 grams of carbohydrates a day. See, I personally, since I'm so active, I, I fall between that 150, 200. I eat about 100 grams of carbs on most days. Sometimes I go I go lower though. I, guess, I, I cycle my carbohydrates too, which I think is another great thing to do. Okay. Now, another amazing benefit of eating a low-carb diet is that it reduces appetite. I mean, studies have shown that, and just from my personal experience, no doubt. You know, years ago in my 20s and 30s, I ate more of a bodybuilding-type diet. I ate more of a high-carb, high-protein, low-fat-type diet. I looked good and felt good, but I have to say I was starving all the time. 
about 10 years ago, I switched over to more of a low carb, higher fat type approach to eating, and I'm never hungry. I can skip meals, I can fast for 24 hours, no problem. I'm a fat burner, you know, so eating low carb definitely reduces hunger without, without doubt, without a doubt. Another tremendous benefit is that it lowers triglycerides. See, triglycerides are elevated not from fats, but from eating too many carbohydrates. See, when you eat carbohydrates, whatever you're not burning right then, the excess carbs, excess calories, excess energy, gets stored away in your muscles and liver in the form of glycogen. And I've talked about this a lot on my channel. See, the muscles can hold anywhere between, say, 12, 1,200, 1,500 calories, maybe even a little bit more if you're a bigger person. The liver can't hold so much, though, maybe, you know, 50 to 100 grams, two to 400 calories. And once the liver is full, any excess carbohydrates you're eating are going to be converted to, dry, to triglycerides. So you get elevated triglycerides from eating too many carbohydrates. So, a great way to reduce your triglycerides eat a low carb diet. And obviously it's also gonna keep blood sugar under control. The foods that spike blood sugar the most are the sugary type foods, the carbohydrate. Okay, so it's a great way to lose weight, to improve your health, to keep insulin levels low, eating a low carb diet. And it's incredible if you combine it with intermittent fasting. That, that's my main thing too. Okay, let's, let's go over to the next slide here. Okay, you can change the like, camera angles. I love this, love the software that I'm using. It's my new Ecom Live software. Okay, so let's break down exactly what this low carb diet is. Okay, your macronutrients are your proteins, your fats, and your carbohydrates, right? And my ideal ratio eating low carb is I like my carbs to be about 15 to 10% of my calories. I like my fats to come in 55 to 65%. And I like my proteins to come in about 20 to 25%. Now, you don't have to count or look up or enter all your food, say, into an app to figure out the ideal macros, it's going to happen automatically if you follow the type of food, the type of meals I'll be talking about in this video. But if you do want to track them, I like my fitness pal. Every now and then, I like to enter all my foods into my fitness pal just to see where I'm at. I just like to like double check myself, and I always seem to fall in very close to these ratios, and I think this is an ideal, not keto, but low-carb type approach to eating, okay? And the general structure of these meals is, I would define it as like low carb, high fat with an adequate amount of protein, okay? And this is how you should, you should structure each meal, okay? Each meal should have one part protein, okay? My general recommendation, recommendations for protein is 0.9 grams per pound of lean body weight, but you don't have to drive yourself crazy with that. A general rule is every four ounces of chicken, fish, and meat, about 25 grams. So just keep that, that in mind. You want adequate amounts of protein. Now let's see what we got. Hey, hey, what sort of healthy carbs would you recommend for the 15%? You know, I'm gonna go into that in detail, but it's gonna be mostly high fiber type carbohydrates like vegetables and even avocados. And I'm talking about net carbs too. Some people say an avocado high in carbohydrates, but an avocado is so high in fiber that the net carbs are very low. For example, there might be 25 grams of carbohydrates in an avocado, but it could have 18, 19 grams of fiber. So the digestible carbohydrates, the net carbs in, a, in an avocado are very low, five to six grams. But great question there, excellent question. Okay, now, so each meal is gonna have one part protein and it's gonna have two parts vegetables like we're talking about those healthy carbs and i like them to be oh great and i like them to be two different colors in the vegetables like different vitamins different minerals different nutrients like you want red vegetables you want yellow squash you want uh, you want a rainbow of colors and make sure you're getting really good nutrition okay and then most of your fat like i like to use the term don't chase after fat let the fat, you're gonna to get to that 55, 60% fat if, you, if you're eating whole natural foods like avocados, like salmon, like sardines, like red meat, you're gonna get it. And then a, a, a good amount of your fat also is gonna come from extra virgin olive oil. So I would be generous with extra virgin olive oil on your vegetables, you know, on salads, 
you know, use extra virgin olive oils. It's great for you. High in polyphenols is great. But I wouldn't do things like, I'm not into like that bulletproof coffee, putting like fat in your coffee. Or some people, when they try to eat low carb, high fat, they're squirting mayonnaise and they're using, you know, those processed vegetable oils. You're going to get to that 55, 65% fat if you're picking whole natural foods. That's the key. Okay, so now, now let's go over. Um, that's the title of this video is like five meals. Let's go over five different meals. Let me pull up a different uh, a different slide here. Let's go and, and let's break these meals down. Let's go. I picked a couple of lunches, and then I picked um, three different dinners. See, if you're following me, you know that I'm a big believer in intermittent fasting. So I typically fast most days, 16, 18, 20 hours, and I like to break my fast with a meal just like this. This is something I had this meal last week. To me, this is like the ideal meal structure. These are gulf like wild caught caught fish. I'm big believer in like wild caught fish, you know, grass fed, grass finished meats, you know, higher in the healthy fats, you know, just better quality. If you can't afford them though, no problem. Just do the best you can. Okay, so get great source of protein here. This is about five, six ounces. I'm gonna get about 30, 40 grams of protein here in my shrimp. We got some peppers on there, one red vegetable. Then we got our avocado. To me, avocado, super food, loaded with potassium. The adequate intake of potassium is about 4,700 milligrams every single day. Most people don't come close. Like for example, people think bananas are high in potassium. They're relatively high, but a banana is 100 calories, 400 milligrams of potassium. These avocados are about eight, 900 milligrams of potassium, plus a banana is like a real sugary type fruit. You're much better off eating avocados, in my opinion. Super food, loaded with fiber. So we're getting our fat, we're getting our fiber. We got our protein here with the shrimp. We got our red um, peppers here. A little variety in the vegetables. And I, I personally always like to eat fermented foods every single day. Feeds the good bacteria in your stomach. A pickle, love pickles, fermented food. Pretty much no calories at pickle, a little bit of fiber. Ideal meal structure. Great way to break a fast. This is like somewhat of a light meal. Like for example, if I'm eating a light meal like this for lunch with only maybe 30, 40 grams of protein, you'll see when I get to dinner, I'm going to load up on more protein for dinner. Okay. So let's pop up, let's pop up another meal here. Okay, this is another one of my favorite meals. I eat sardines almost every single day for multiple reasons. First of all, sardines high in omega-3s, right? Great source of fat right there. Secondly, you know, it's almost eating from head to, you know, you ever heard that term like from head to toe, from, from head to tail, meaning that you're getting all the connective tissue when you're eating a whole sardine like this. Like the bones are inside, the skin, the calcium from the bones, the protein, you know, the omega-3s. Plus this particular can of sardines is a PBA-free can. I'm a big believer in that PBA-free can. The brand of this of these sardines is Bella, B-E-L-L-A. -L -L you know, I'll, I'll list that below this video, the exact brand that I love. They taste great. This particular brand comes in extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of um, lemon juice. Love it. Great source of protein there. And this is a four ounce grass fed, grass finished, like, you know, beef, beef patty. Love it. You know, and I actually, it's interesting. Um, I used to be afraid to cook at high temperatures with olive oil because I always felt that it burned, like the burn rate is um, lower. But then I then I read this book, a, a Dr. Merkel book, talking about how there's so many polyphenols in olive oil that don't be concerned about the smoke rate, the burn rate. Coat your meat with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. The polyphenols are going to give you so much protection and be so good for you. So whenever I cook now like a steak, whenever I cook a a beef patty. I take a little bit of olive oil. I put it on both sides, salt, pepper. It tastes incredible and I love it. I used to use like coconut, you know, oil and be concerned that because the, the burn rate is higher on a coconut oil. But now I just use extra virgin olive oil for pretty much everything. Now sometimes I buy it at Costco. I try to get it at a good price. I try to buy the California brand, which you know you're really getting when they say certified extra virgin olive oil right there. Once again, I, you know, I need an avocado every day. It's an ideal, it's perfect to right into this meal structure. Once again, high in fiber, high in potassium. And this time I double up on the um, fermented food. So we got a little sauerkraut. Sauerkraut has so many different probiotics. It's incredible. I mean, sauerkraut pickles feeding the good 
bacteria in my stomach. This is an IV meal. So this was a little more protein than that first one that I, that I picked up. So for example, on a day where I'm having not as much protein here, I'll eat more protein for dinner. But then on a day like, you know, like on that meal that I just had up, let's pop that up again. On a day like this, since I double up my protein, maybe I'll do a little bit less protein, you know, for dinner. Okay, so let's talk, now, now let's kick into the dinners. Okay, this is, this is one of my favorite dinners. I love this, I love salmon steak. And for example, if I had shrimp during the day, only took in 30, 40 grams of protein, this is like a whole big pound of, um, this is a really big piece, love it, of salmon steak. I think we got a, a little bit of like um, turmeric, salt, pepper on here. Love it, probably got 100 grams of protein, literally, you know, right here, love that. And if you can see here, we went with three different colored vegetables this time. I'm a big believer in that. We went with red beets. Once again, these red beets uh, sauteed with a little extra virgin olive oil arugula salad and tomato incredible perfect meal structure just like i talked about in the um in the other slide let's pop that up just to let's pop pop back to the other slide let me see i'm a little bit new with this software so let's see i don't know why it's not coming up okay well it's not coming up it's not coming up we'll go back I'll, I'll, it's in my brain so I'll be able to find it talk about it later <laughs> so like the whole the whole structure is one part protein two to three different colored vegetables ideal meal structure okay let's pick up another one okay this is actually this is my wife's favorite she loves steel head trout and if you knew steel head trout existed until my wife so we have this every couple of weeks whenever she can find it you know at the store I love it Great, great steelhead trout here. Once again, omega threes. We got some, just just some oregano and some salt and pepper on there. Two different colored vegetables. Once again, cauliflower, um, broccoli. Different vitamins, different minerals, different nutrients. And then we got some. Once again, a curry spice on this cauliflower. Extra virgin olive oil. So if you pop this in, let's see if I can get this to show up. Um, I don't know why it's not showing up. My my slides from before let's see there we go it's going to pop into this exact meal structure if you like for example if you took that meal that i just talked about that steelhead trout and then you and you measure the olive oil and the fat and the steelhead trout and the broccoli and, and the cauliflower and you pop it into an app like my fitness pal it's going to come out to be 10 50 percent carb 55 60 percent fat 20 25 percent protein ideal meal structure okay let's go back to the meals i think we had one more meal to cover to get to our five meals and this is another one another one of my favorite fish arctic charred similar to salmon a little bit lighter in taste if you don't like that oily um, flavor of salmon arctic charred a little bit lighter absolutely love it and once again two different colored vegetables we got our string beans you know extra virgin olive oil salt pepper cauliflower i think this time i think my wife put like a little bit of a cajun like a spicy spice on this but this is how you have to eat this is ideal low carb eating vegetables don't think when this is not keto we're not going like no carbs we're talking like i said if you're under 150 pounds maybe 50 grams of carbs if you're a big guy or gal, 200 pounds, maybe you're going to 100 grams of carbs. You're eating vegetables, right? And maybe even some berries, you know, maybe things like that, low sugar type fruits. But you are eating a reasonable amount of carbohydrates because you want the fiber. You want the vitamins. You want the minerals. You're getting most of your fat from the whole natural food you're eating. You're eating steak. You're eating eggs you're eating whole eggs you're eating salmon you're gonna get your fat and protein your fat's gonna come with your protein and then you're gonna get a little bit more fat by eating extra virgin olive oil okay let's see okay we got another question here i use evo for for temperature frying for high temperature butter ghee sounds good i totally agree love it love it that's great so that's pretty much the whole program. I mean, I've been eating like this now for about 10 years. It's been life-changing for me. I have to say, when I ate more of that bodybuilding type diet, like that higher carb, high protein, low fat, I did look good too. But the biggest difference were two main things. First of all, I was hungry all the time, no question about it. And also, my blood work was nowhere near as good. My triglycerides were two, three times higher. 
and my HDLs, my high density liver proteins were lower. When I switched over to more of this like low carb intermittent fasting type approach, I always kept my protein, you know, adequate amounts of protein, like 0.9 grams per pound of lean body weight. When I was bodybuilding, even maybe a little bit more. But I feel so much better with this more low carb approach. My blood work is better. I'm never hungry. I can fast for 24 hours like nothing. I'm burning fat like crazy. I'm a fat burner. Give it a try. If you're new to the low carb thing, just start off really easy. Like first, just start off eliminating like those worst carbs, the cookies, the cakes, things like that. Do that for a week. Then the next week, start eliminating like your rice, your pastas, your grains, things like that. Ease into it. Take about a couple weeks. You may be a little bit hungry for a week or two, but two, three weeks down the road eating low carb, you're not going to be hungry. You're going to be thinner. You're going to be healthier. Okay. Now, any other questions out there? I'm here. I said this is my first video since New Year's. I didn't post for like a week. It was, it was, you know, my kids were home from college. It was really fun to see them. You know, my daughter went back. My son's here for another day or two. So I really was busy, busy with them. So um, I'm going to start posting. I want to start doing more and more lives. I hope you like lives. If, you know, I hope the quality of the video is good. I hope the sound is good. I bought some new equipment. I'm using this new software. So we'll see how it goes. Any questions, any fitness health, anything you got? Okay, that's it. And also, I always like to say, if you want like a real structured program, I do have this course. It's really, it's pretty, pretty reasonable. I charge like $97. It's like this 40 video a course on low carb eating with intermittent fasting, similar to this. Oh, I love the live scenes. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I've been working on the lights, the sound, the whole thing. I'm going to start doing more. I want to do at least one live every single week. I was th thinking about maybe picking a specific time, maybe like Sundays or something. We'll see. I, I may wing it for a week or two and then try to settle into a specific time. But like I said, if you really want like a real structured course taking all the guesswork at a low carb, intermittent fasting. I have this four week low carb intermittent fasting course. I'll put a link below. You don't have to do it. Truthfully, you, you know, all the information, I, I don't hold anything back. Every time I do a video, I really try to give as much as I can. Like you, if you watch all my videos, you don't need the course, if, but you got to watch a hundred videos. The course is like, if you don't want to just want a, a simple structure to follow, you can, you can buy the course and it'll be 40 short videos, two to three minutes long that goes through the whole program. Let's make another question. Mike, what's your take on I think, I think macadamia nuts are great. Out of all the nuts, I think that's probably one of the healthiest nuts. The only thing, though, this is something I, I've, I've made other videos about. One thing you do have to be a little careful with is mixing fat and carbs together and like non-fibrous carbs mostly. Okay, so for example, like when you're eating vegetables, high fiber vegetables, like what extra virgin olive oil and you're eating, you know, salmon, you're getting so much fiber and, and the vegetables are relatively low in carbohydrates, it's okay. But nuts, I think macadamia nuts, walnuts, pistachios are definitely the best. But, pe but there are a good amount of calories in nuts and there is a decent amount of carbohydrates in nuts, so you're getting fat and carbs at the same you know, at the same time, you got to be careful of that because the carbs will spike insulin and there's fat running through the bloodstream. It'll be a little bit easier to store away those those carbohydrates and maybe possibly, you know, you know it can help you store, I mean, the high carbs will help you store the fat easier in your fat cells. That's somewhat debatable. I have read some studies of that. Actually, even Ben Bickman, he's a he's a famous PhD. I just read his book about about three four months ago. He wrote this book, Why We Get Sick, and the whole book. He's an excellent and he's an expert on insulin, and he talked about one study in the book. And I actually found the book talking about a study talking about just eating, just delaying when you eat carbohydrates within a meal, helps control blood sugar, helps minimize insulin. And I've done this. Like for example. Sometimes I really just have um, like my high fiber vegetables and proteins together. And let's say I ate very little carbs that particular day and I worked out really, really hard. And I know my glycogen levels are low. So I want to up my glycogen levels a little bit with carbohydrates. And say I want to eat like a sweet potato. You know, research has shown that if you just wait 45 minutes and then have the sweet potato, you'll be better off. It'll help control, instantly help control blood sugar more. He even talked about it in his book. And that's a that's a strategy that I use all the time. That's a strategy a lot of times when I use when I'm doing like an OMAD day. 
So for example, if I'm fasting like all day long, like 22, 23 hours, and I'm taking in all my calories in one big like meal, say within 60 to 90 minutes, a lot of times I split it up into like two little sections that all matter where I'll take in all my, my, I'll take my fat and my protein together, like have a, like a big piece of salmon, have some vegetables, and then I might wait 45 minutes to an hour. And then that, in that last 15 minutes of my like 90 minute eating window, then I might take in like a baked potato, like a sweet potato, taking some carbohydrates like that. See, I try to even like, for example, if I'm, I also, if you follow me, you know that I'm a big believer in cheat days and taking diet breaks. But even when I do that, I still try not to mix fat and carbs together. Like if I'm going to have some Italian bread, if I'm going to have like some rice, I have it separately. I just want that insulin spike. I want to process it and that's it. I don't want fat along with the carbs to, um, to potentially increase my fat cells. I've heard other people talk about this. You know, the other guy, he's got like a million followers, Thomas Delore. He talks about that a lot on his, on his channel too. He has a lot of videos on not mixing carbs and fast together. And, you know, Ben Bickman, I've heard him say, like I said, in, in the Why We Get Sick book, I've even heard some other people, you know, talk about that too. So something you may want to experiment as well. Okay, any, any other questions out there? This is great. We got a few people in the stream now. Got some thumbs up. Any other questions before I go? I got plenty of time. I think my wife's making dinner. I got one of my perfect meals coming up. It was at 8.30 here in the next 10 to 15. Okay, what time would be best to take collagen? Oh, that's a good one. I take collagen drinks pretty much every day. I do about, I buy the Great, the great Lakes brand of collagen. You know, I may even, let me see. I even think I have a picture of the actual collagen that I take. I'll pull it right in there. I'll pull it right in here for you. This is my brand of collagen. I probably the plain collagen. I do four scoops almost every day, 24 grams. I do it a couple of different ways. I generally work out most of the time in a fasted, in a fasted state. But sometimes if I'm doing like a really, really hard resistance training workout, I may take a couple of scoops of collagen protein powder and I'll mix that in with like celery juice. See, I love celery juice because celery juice, and I buy the Evolutions brand, it's 35 calories, a thousand milligrams of potassium, and almost like no carbs, and it's incredible. And I'll put like two, maybe even three scoops of collagen powder, and I like to sip it. There's a lot of research showing that taking, not a lot, but some research, showing that taking in like amino acids, taking in protein while you're working out, is a very good thing for muscle recovery. And I do that. I do do that. See, I typically don't work out in the morning. So I'm in a, like, you know, I'm training people. I got my gym. I start six in the morning. I generally work out myself, maybe one o'clock, 12, 31. I've already been fasted 16 hours at that point on hard resistance training workouts. I'll do this collagen protein, you know, maybe in with a little bit of celery juice or maybe I just do it with water. But other times I'll just like, for example, if I didn't do that, I may just take some collagen powder at any time during the day. Maybe after dinner, I'll take two or three scoops of collagen protein powder. I love hibiscus tea, herbal tea. Actually, three cups of hibiscus tea has been shown to lower dramatically lower blood pressure. Three cups of hibiscus tea. So I do that all the time. You know, I think it's almost any time's a good time. Great post-workout, after-workout, another great time to take in your collagen protein powder. Just keep in mind, it's not a complete protein, but it's still great. It has glycine in it, great for gut, great for you know stomach type issues, great for a leaky gut. You know, it, it helps heal the stomach. I love collagen protein powder. Good for the skin, good for the nails. Women, definitely, I have my wife taking it. Great thing for women to take. What do we got? Okay, I, like, uh, I like my food. Oh, thanks. Should chill around, Mike. What time would you be best taking out of I like Mike's videos as a form. Oh, the chill out. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. You know, I really like this YouTube thing. I, I, I'd say yeah, it's hard getting subscribers, though. I, I you know, <laughs> Rona, I really appreciate it. It's just hard getting subs. I mean, that's the big thing. I'm, I, I've been I've been dying to get to 10,000 subs. Once you get to 10,000 subscribers, you have a lot more, like, leverage on YouTube. I can do stories. I can do a lot more things. So hopefully I'll get there. I wanted to get there before January, but hopefully I get there in the next few months. But I appreciate everyone's support. It's interesting, Rona. You, you, your um your comment came up on screen. I'm new to this your software. I got to figure out how to do that. 
how how that actually went on screen. Let me see if I click on. Is that what happened? I'm not sure. There we go. That's how I do it. Oh, that was great. I appreciate it. So now I know. Next time when I do a live, I know how to get the comments to pop up. I'm using this new software called Ecom Live. It's only for Macs. Absolutely love it. I can you know now I see I can change camera angles on it and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> that's great. Brother. That's great. That's cool. Let's see if I can get to it. Oh, there, oh, there you go. Yeah, you're famous. That's right. You're famous. F fantastic. That's great. Okay. Any other questions out there? Anything else before I go? All right. Well, I really just I want to once again wish everyone Happy New Year. I really appreciate your support. I, you know, I love when people come to these lives. If I can help you in any way, let me know. If you notice, I I answer every single comment that people leave. I always answer it. If I ever get so many subscribers that, that, that I can't answer everyone's comment, I'm gonna stop. That's my, I wanna really help as many people as I can. Okay, well take care, have a wonderful night, and I really appreciate everyone stop, stopping in for this live. Take care everyone.